all political lives end in failure, observed the British Prime Minister Harold Macmillan. His certainly did. And so too will Joe Biden's. Forced out after four years, it's difficult to think of a single significant achievement by the Biden administration. Biden's legacy will be higher national debt and a more divided America. But is it really the case that political lives always end in failure? Watching the recent movie about Ronald Reagan, it was obvious that after two terms in office, the Gipper's accomplishments clearly outweighed any defeats. Reagan's legacy was a buoyant economy, stronger America, and the defeat of Soviet communism. If Biden's legacy is of extreme failure, and Reagan's of remarkable success, many politicians don't seem to leave much of a legacy at all, good or bad. Like footprints on a beach at low tide. Tomorrow it will be as though they were never there at all. Many politicians fail to leave much of a legacy for the simple reason that they hold office, but have little idea what to do with it. That's not, of course, what they tell themselves in the early days. In the afterglow of their election victory, surrounded by staffers and praised by smooth-tongued lobbyists, political leaders busy themselves with the business of government. Yet often the urgent squeezes out the important. Once in office, they end up playing the role of senator, congressman or state governor, like an actor in a movie handed their lines by someone else. Rather than implementing a blueprint that matters, they're distracted by the trivial. Instead of delivering difficult messages, they delude themselves that another press conference about blah blah is vital. Rare is the type of politician who can make the political weather rather than respond to it. Many politicians fail to leave a legacy because they fool themselves that they're responsible for things that would have happened anyway. Or they imagine that they'll be fondly remembered for things that happened on their watch. How many Mississippians remember who was governor when the Nissan factory came to Mississippi? How many credit whoever happened to be in office? Any politician in our state wanting to leave a real legacy needs to address those things that have kept our state 50th out of 50 for too long. First is education. Mississippi needs a wholesale reform of education with school choice and parent power. With so many surrounding states implementing universal school choice, change is possible. The first wave of Mississippi leaders to actually come out and lead on this will be seen to deliver historic changes for the better. Second is the state economy. Mississippi's economy continues to be weighed down by a relatively high tax burden and red tape. Despite cutting the state income tax, Mississippi families and businesses still pay more than surrounding states. Certificate of Need Law holds back the healthcare economy in our state. State leaders that lead on lower taxes and deregulation would stand out nationally and historically. State leaders that address these issues will leave a giant legacy. Those that don't won't even be a household name in their own home.